How's it going everyone? Blue Knight here, and today I'm going to be discussing the newly released Spyro Reignited Trilogy cover art. And may I say, this just looks absolutely amazing. We get our first look at a lot of things in this cover art, um, right just before E3 starts in a couple days. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started analyzing this poster. So apparently this poster was leaked over on Instagram before quickly taking it down by the official Spyro account. Well, now, um... It was seemingly reposted moments later over on Twitter. And in this poster, we get to see first look at Nasty Nork, Crypto, the Sorceress, as well as a bunch of other stuff that hasn't even been shown yet. In this poster, you're going to see a crystal dragon far in the back, a baby dragon egg, a bunch of gems scattered throughout, sheep, more Norks, a Rhinoc, Ninja, we also get to see Stone Hill, Skelos Badlands, and Fireworks Factory. Now those flying dragons over the top, I don't remember them being in the Year of Dragon, but of course it's been years since I played the game, so I wouldn't remember. Now I was actually debating on whether I should make a video on this, or make two separate videos for, you know, when a trailer gets released. So I just thought, well, it's probably going to take me a good amount of time to do this video about the cover art anyway, so I'll just do two separate videos. So we got this great render of Spyro in the poster, now that looks pretty amazing too. Uh, we got some more enemies that we didn't get to see yet in the game. It's not, uh, not all that much to uh, talk about. I mean, I've basically just summed up what the whole poster had in it. But we do have uh, confirmed that which two levels from the Green Knight Trilogy will be playable at E3, which will be Toasty Level and Treetops. A lot of people kind of hated this level because of how hard it is and you gotta time your jumps correctly. So, well, actually, I never played it, but I know a lot of people hated it. Oh, yeah, about... And, uh, one last thing about the cover art is, uh, a lot of people are already complaining about how Ripto looks in comparison to how Nasty Nork and Sorceress looks. Um, so... I mean, I'm not really complaining. As long as it's a new Spyro game, I'm not complaining. And as long as it's not great over the PS1 graphics. And the poster overall actually looks a lot better and seems to be a lot more going on than what we had with the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy uh, final cover art. So yeah, there should be a trailer coming out next week for E3, or at E3 with Spyro Reignited Trilogy, showing footage from all three games, including Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, and Spyro Year of Dragon. Which is probably why they showed this poster or final box art early. Now all we need to confirm is the Nintendo Switch and PC versions. Which I'm thinking Nintendo will announce during their uh, Nintendo Direct or E3 presentation. So yeah, that uh, that's it for today's video, guys. So uh, yeah, I'm still keeping up with E3, and I'll try to get it all wrapped up into one big article and video when it's all over with and done. Well, if something big like Sly happens, then I'm going to get a special one up really quick. So yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Until next time, it's been Blue Knight. Uh, you can find me over on my, my Twitter. Over on Blue Knight V 2.0, which is my blog, over on Sonic Stadium, and over on Patreon if you wish to contribute a dollar, as much as a dollar per month to help this channel grow, as well as my blog, into a next level source for video gaming news. So with that said, guys, this is it for the video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.